basically what we're dealing with here is uh, both contamination on the bacteria and the mold side. And today what we're doing is we're spraying homes to uh, kill the bacteria and kill the mold. And we have a two-part formula. You mix the two parts together, it kills everything that's organic. It kills bacteria, it kills virus, and it kills mold. Unlike other products, instead of encapsulating the spore and holding it at bay and eventually uh, dissipating or evaporating and the spore regrowing, the product that we use penetrates the spore to its nucleus and kills it. This was created by the Department of Defense in 1997 for the military for biological warfare in the Middle East. From 1997 to 2007, the only folks who had this was the Department of Defense. 2008, they licensed it to a company to create for the public sector, recognizing that we needed help in the environment here in the U.S. in case of attack. 19, uh, 2009, I was certified uh, to use this product. When we go in, we have to put the mask and the suit on. You can't breathe it. You don't want it to touch your skin. It'll burn you. The nice part about it, when they created it, is that eight hours later, it biodegrades to air and water. So you can walk back in the home and pick up where you left off. So we're, we look at the lumber and we see the visual mold. So we know we have mold. When we spray this, it will penetrate all of this to its nucleus and kill it off. It doesn't change what it looks like. Right? Yeah, you want the moisture levels to be down below in the wood, down below about 10%. 15 is okay. If it gets above there, it starts to get a little bit more prevalent for mold growth. This count was 10,000 plus. Okay, and what you want is 200 to 300. It's a natural environment for mold underneath the home. So we're going to kill off what's here. We're going to put the floor back on as soon as we can. And then what's under stays under and doesn't come in. And we're going to literally spray every exposed lumber that's in there. And then we turn up the machine to a fine mist and we basically mist the whole house because what we want is we want this chemical to land on something. Whatever it lands on, if it's, there's an organic substance, it will kill it. So the sheetrock, the lumber, the flooring, we just want to basically engulf the house in a mist and then we let it sit for eight hours and then the next day we check it back out again. We put a little sign on the door that tells you when you could get back in again because we don't want anybody walking into it. If it's exterior and it's and it's cosmetic, nobody wants to look at it. But this stuff that we're dealing with from the storm is all interior wall stuff. Yep. So as long as it's dead and our and our uh, um, our testing shows that we've done what we had to do, then it's dead.